Okay, so in this video, we're going to revise some questions from biology paper 2. The first question is from section B, and the second question is an essay question. Alright, so let's begin. Figure 4.0 shows the longitudinal section of a stem. Which letters in figure 4.0 correspond to cambium, xylem, and phloem? Explain the functions of S and T in the plants. Which letter corresponds to the structure which needs companion cells to function properly? Which letter in figure 4.0 corresponds to a structure in which substances can either move up or down? Alright, so let's begin. Which letter in figure 4.0 corresponds to cambium? Now, this picture is not too clear, but what you need to keep in mind is that the xylem is the innermost part of the vascular bundle, then the phloem is the outermost part, then in between the xylem and the phloem we have the cambium. So let's just say the cambium is T, then the xylem is S, then the phloem is U. So the cambium is in between the xylem and the phloem, and the xylem is the innermost part of the vascular bundle, and the phloem is the outermost part of the vascular bundle. Explain the functions of S and T in a plant. So S, which is xylem, so the function of the xylem is to transport water and minerals upwards from roots to the rest of the plant. And the function of T, which is the cambium, it is responsible for the secondary growth of stems and roots. So I've also added the function of phloem for revision purposes. So a phloem is responsible for transporting food and other organic materials throughout the plant. And then part B, which letter corresponds to the structure which needs companion cells to function properly? So that's the phloem. And then which letter in figure 4.0 corresponds to a structure in which substances can either move up or down? That's the phloem again. Right, then let's look at the essay type question. Explain the functions of the following nerve cells. Sensory neuron, motor neuron, and relay neuron. So this question carries six marks, so two marks for each. Then part B, describe giving examples in each case, spinal reflex action and conditioned reflex action. So what is the function of a sensory neuron? So sensory neuron transmits impulses from a receptor to the central nervous system, which is the spinal cord or the brain. And then a motor neuron carries signals from the central nervous system to other parts of the body. Then a relay neuron connects sensory neurons and motor neurons. Then part B, describe giving examples in each case, spinal reflex action. So a spinal reflex is an action mediated by cells in the spinal cord. The knee jerk is an example of a spinal reflex. When the knee is tapped, the nerve that receives this stimulus sends an impulse to the spinal cord where it is relayed to a motor nerve. This causes the quadriceps muscles at the front of the thigh to contract and jerk the leg up. And then a conditioned reflex is one acquired as a result of experience. When an action is done repeatedly, the nervous system becomes familiar with the situation and learns to automatically react. And a new reflex is built into the system. Pavlov's dog experiment is an example of conditioned reflex where a dog salivates in response to the ringing of the bell. Alright, so that concludes this revision. If you've liked the video, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet already, I'll catch you guys in the next video.